Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Healthy Lifestyle A to Z. This is Letty Smith. I'm going to be sharing easy, fast, healthy recipes with you. Stay tuned. Today's recipe is going to be zucchini and carrot frittata, four to six portions, depending on if you're going to eat it with something else, like a side, or you're going to eat it by itself. The frittata is just like an omelette. If you make it with potatoes, you can make it with anything you want. But if you make it with potatoes, then it's called Spanish tortilla or tortilla la española. This is a very economic and nutritious dish and it yields for a lot of people. Here's a list of ingredients. You're gonna need eight eggs. I buy organic or cage-free, pasture-raised and all that stuff. Uh, two zucchinis chopped, one onion sliced, one cup shredded carrots, two tablespoons water for the eggs and make them fluffier, two tablespoons olive oil, salt and pepper to taste. So what you're going to do is you're going to slice your onions, of course you're going to wash them first, always wash your veggies. Slice the onion or you can chop it, whatever you want. Cut your zucchini, chop it. You can make the, the squares as big or as small as you want. Add the olive oil and saute the onion for two minutes. Mix it, keep on mixing, you don't want it to get burned. Add the carrots and saute for two more minutes. Keep on mixing. Add zucchini, saute for two minutes. Keep on moving. Butter your eggs, add salt and pepper and the water. Keep on stirring and cover. Finish cooking it. I added a little bit of salt and pepper to my veggies. And then the egg mix. Swirl a little bit, you want all the edges to be covered. And cover the pan. Cook it for 12 minutes in low heat and you're going to swirl. Turn off the heat, get a cookie sheet and cover with aluminum foil. Turn it over, wear some gloves so you don't get burned. And once you have it on the cookie sheet, then you're going to put a plate on top of it and you're going to turn it over again. This is how it looks like. You can cut in four or eight pieces. It all depends what you're going to eat it with. So if you're going to have sides, then you can cut in eight pieces. If you're going to eat it by itself, then four pieces. I can give you some ideas. You can eat it with beans. Eat it with a salad and put some salsa on it. Uh, make you can make maybe you can make a taco with it. You uh, just get creative and enjoy. I invite you to like, subscribe, and share with your friends and family. Next recipe it's going to be cassava sandwich bread, gluten free. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned, and I'll see you next time.